A frigid blast of Arctic cold is descending on most of the nation, and it is already putting the freeze on some New Year's Eve plans in many cities. NBC meteorologist Dylan Dreyer is out on Rockefeller Plaza for us with our forecast. Dylan, good evening. Good evening, Lester. It is going to be a very cold end to 2014. Take a look at the jet stream and see just how far south that cold air is stretching. We are going to be waking up to lows tomorrow morning and wind chills 20 to 40 degrees below zero across the plains and upper Midwest. Austin in Texas will top out at 42 degrees. They're even considering postponing outdoor New Year's Eve plans because of the cold. By midnight tomorrow night, we're looking at most of the country below freezing. Five in Denver, 28 degrees in Times Square for all the folks watching the ball drop. And we'll even see some snow across the southern Rockies. And it's only 44 degrees for a high on New Year's Day in Las Vegas. Most of the country still below average for New Year's Day. In Pasadena, California, home of the Rose Parade, we could break a record morning low low and temperatures, wind chills throughout the parade will only be in the 20s. And speaking of wind, the Bay Area in California is under a high wind warning. Through the day tomorrow, we could see wind gusts as high as 65 miles per hour, even higher in the highest elevations and down in the valleys, Lester. So everyone will be bundled up for sure as we ring in the new year. All right, Dylan Dreyer and friends on the plaza tonight. <laughs> Still ahead tonight, it may be hard to believe after hearing that frosty forecast, but this year is on track to break records for heat. Also, the school district that says it's unlocking powers within students through the power of meditation. I recognize this may be hard to believe considering the cold that's gripping so many of us around the nation. Maybe it will help if you think back to the summer when we were all cranking up the A.C., because 2014 will go down as the warmest year around the globe in recorded history. NBC's Ann Thompson explains. For many Americans, 2014 will be remembered as the year of digging out. I'm done with winter, officially. Beginning and ending under a pile of white. <laughs> I'm ready to move. <laughs> but for the planet as a whole, 2014 is set to be the warmest year on record. Continuing a century-long trend from cooler than average temperatures in 1913 to a predominance of above average temperatures in 2013. This year's record fueled by the warming oceans with seven consecutive months of new high temperatures. While yearly changes may play a role, NOAA says the prime suspect is climate change. Greenhouse gases warm the atmosphere, that atmospheric temperature increase then penetrates into the ocean as well. On land, Australia sweltered through its hottest spring on record, with temperatures topping 100 degrees. Researchers say this was Europe's hottest year in 500 years. Even Siberia felt the heat. The coldest town in the world, Oymyakon, averaged a record 9.5 degrees in February. Usually, it's 51 below all in stark contrast to much of the U.S. This year, the West was very warm. The central and eastern parts were average to below average. In fact, January to November were the coldest in the lower 48 since 1997, despite record warmth in Arizona and California, making it a small cold spot in a record warm year. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.